Okay guys, so our window is now ready to go. We can't test it quite yet because we haven't made, uh, we haven't finalized our game panel yet. So we're going to, I already have all, all the classes made over here. So we're going to go into game panel Java, and I left it blank so we can go ahead and fill in the rest over here. Um, and as I said before, game panel needs to be a J panel in order to be added to the J frame. Um, if that makes sense. Um, because J frames add method requires a J component. Other, I mean, J frame doesn't know what a game panel is. It's our little local class that we made. So we need to make it a J panel so we can do J panel y things to it. Like add it to a window, paint on it, etc. etc. So what I'm going to do is something similar to what I did in Java, and that's extend J panel. And we're going to import JavaX.swing J panel. Okay, I'm going to save this and then I'm going to compile it. Well, it's compiling right now. Alright, it compiled just fine, no errors. So, we can come over to Pong.java now and we need to do the same thing in here. Because we're adding a J frame, we need to import J frame so our class knows what a J, or I'm sorry, not J frame, um, J panel. We need to import J panel so our J frame uh, knows what it can add and what it can't add and such. So we import into our program J panel. Okay, so I'm going to compile Pong Java now. And no errors. So, just so I show you guys I'm not crazy, we're going to run. And I'm going to show you the little window we got now. That's just the console window. There we go. You guys probably can't see this too good, but... This is our window now. Exciting, isn't it? There's absolutely nothing here. That's okay. I expected that. We haven't done anything yet to it. So... And this is 500 by 500. It's a little too big to fit into the screen capture, but we have a window. Yay. So now we can hit X. And because we did set default close operation, our program uh, exited itself and it's telling us to press any key to continue. So I'm going to press the space bar. Um, all right, now on the game panel. We don't ever need to touch Pong again. It's done. So, <clears throat> so we made a new game panel object, so we need to have a constructor. It's only natural. So we got public game panel Now what is our constructor going to do? Absolutely nothing for right now. We're going to leave it as it is. I'm going to explain some um, core concepts here first. Um, so basically in game programming how it works is there's usually um, a game loop going on in 2D games anyway, not in 3D games, I think that's different. Um, but in 2D games you have a game loop that keeps repeating over and over and over and over and over until the game is done playing. And, and every time that game loop rolls through it updates the game it paints the uh, objects in the game, and then it clears the screen and gets ready to repaint again. So, update, paint, clear, or wipe, or whatever you want to think of it. It's, it's erasing the image after we've already seen it, but it does it so fast that we can't even really tell. It's like paper animation, so to speak. So, um, J panels, I actually I think it's all J components. Uh, have a method called paint component 
and it's in J panels class. So, um, like we didn't make the like we didn't make the method, but we need to use it and customize it to do what we want it to do. So we're gonna have to override it. So public void paint component and that takes a graphics object okay and remember this isn't our method this is originally jpanel's method but in jpanel's method this is just blank we need to use it and we need to uh, customize it to fit our needs. So we imported that and now we need to import a graphics which is in Java <coughs> .awt uh, dot graphics. You know I used to know AWT stood for but I don't remember anymore. It's something something like abstract window toolkit something like that but that's where all the drawing stuff is that's all I care about so <clears throat> paint component we're not going to do anything with it just yet but just remember this is where we're going to put all the code to paint our game so we can see what's happening with our game um, and remember the other part of the uh, remember the other part of the game loop I mentioned the update update paint swipe we are going to write our own update method. <clears throat> Private void update. And I don't want to confuse you guys. Update is not a method of JPanel. This is our method. Update is our method. We are writing it right now. It doesn't exist until right now. So we're going to take credit for it. We're going to copyright it. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, we're going to leave that blank for now too, and I made it private because no other class really needs to access it, so why not? Um, what, I, what, I never was, uh, what I never understood is why people bother typing private anyway. I mean, I guess if you're making a professional application, you should, but it takes more effort to type out private than it does public, so I don't know. But anyway, I digress. So, we got that. We got the basic thing set up. Um, now I'm going to show you guys how to set up, like set up the game loop, so to speak. In a game loop, um, like I said, the game updates all the positions of all the objects and such. It repaints it, um, and then it wipes the screen, and then it usually waits a few milliseconds, depending on your frames per second, anywhere from.